What's going on guys? Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Basement is here. And uh yeah, I bought a Alibaba subwoofer so you don't have to. Or should you? Wait to see in this video. Hey guys, if you want to help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redoto Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Sirwin Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. Alright, back to the video. So, a little bit of backstory. I was searching on uh, Alibaba and I came across the subwoofer and I actually sampled it for 50 bucks and then with shipping it came out to be $99. Now tell me guys, does this sub look familiar? Cause, I mean, kinda should. It looks exactly like a CT Sounds Meso and it kinda really looks like a Golden Eagle, or Golden Eagle Audio subwoofer. This is a 12 inch subwoofer, guys. And uh, this thing looks very promising. It has a three inch black aluminum coil. Very, very beefy motor. I'm actually not too sure on the size of the motor. It did not say. Um, let's see the terminals. Terminals are not, not very, not very big at all. I mean, this is probably, you could probably fit some uh, 12 gauge wire if you really try. Uh, but yeah, and that I'm not really happy about the tinsel lead. It is very, very tiny. This thing, actually, so this thing is uh, 1500 watts RMS, which is a very big rating for only $100. Um, so the spider pack, it is glued and it is uh, screwed down, which I really like to see. This thing really is built well. This has a really, really beefy surround. And... Um, cone is carbon fiber as you can see very nice dust cap i'm pretty sure this is a paper dust cap um i actually do like paper dust caps better than the the other ones um it is stitched with white stitching and uh yeah dude this thing looks really really promising uh, the basket looks amazing the white it is a smooth finish very glossy and uh, yeah, let's see how much power this thing can take in the car. We are going to be putting it through hell. We're going to do a little bit of an RMS test and um, yeah, see how this thing does. And uh, let's see if it was worth my purchase or not. I really want to see if this thing can get to, if this thing can beat the um, Def Bonds. The Def Bonds is a 2.75 uh, inch coil. And they make their stuff really, really well. It is also 1500 watts RMS, but it is literally over double the price. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. I forgot to add, this spider pack has two spiders in it. I'm pushing it down and it does have two spiders in it, which is I really like to see. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty guys. So we got the $100 Alibaba subwoofer hooked up to the car. And I forgot to add that it is a two ohm subwoofer. And I hooked it down to one ohm. Look at that black aluminum coil in there. This thing, I have high hopes for this. Let's see how far this thing can go on music and RMS. Let's get it. All right, guys, let's get this party started. First, we're gonna play uh, Red Alert by KSI. Let's get it.
sounds good. Alrighty guys, that's what it sounds like on music. I uh, turned it up right there and it got to about 3000 watts, which is kind of crazy for one sub. Um, right now we're gonna do the RMS uh, test. So we're gonna do 1500 watts RMS and see how long it can last. I do have very high hopes for this thing. Um, it, I literally don't smell it at all from the 3000 watt push I pushed. Uh, it was clipping a little bit, but then I turned it back down, so it's all good. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put on a 20 hertz frequency just to cool off the coil right now and then get to the RMS test here in a second. All right. Alrighty, guys. Time for the RMS test. Let's get it. So I'm going to start the timer and then put it up to 1500. So let's get it. All right. Timer has been started. Let's get this thing up pretty quick. Right, guys I heard it uh, trying to unwind right there it only got a minute and 30 seconds guys that is not what I like to see but it's all right that's gonna be it for this test because I do not want to blow this subwoofer that is the last thing I want to do and uh, yeah as you can see guys that glue in there just started to unwind a little bit I don't know if you can see kind of the the copper orange in there but it is definitely there so i think the glue just started to unglue and um but honestly i'm gonna give my honest opinion for a hundred dollars this thing is a literal beast this thing sounded amazing though i mean um i would definitely buy two of these and hook it up to the car i think it would doing guys doing anything doing a constant rms test with a test tone is going to be brutal for a subwoofer mechanically and uh yeah this thing is no different this thing only got to i think two one minute and 30 seconds which is all right but guys if you like this video like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace Trying to hit my phone But nobody else gonna call